guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a project pan update and this is my finished 19 in 2019 and I actually have an empty and I didn't think I would because my progress is going really slow at the moment on my products that I am working on but when I took a shower yesterday I finished the product. I'm really excited. So I'm going to finish 19 products in 2019 and it is half body care, hair care, stuff like that and half makeup. So I think we should just talk about the empty that I have for this update and that is my sugar scrub from Soella Beauty. It is the pretty polished sugar scrub. It is looking like this. It's a, it's a really cute packaging and all of that. There's water in it. You see that? It smelled amazing and it was a really nice sugar scrub. It was on the softer side because of the sugar. In the end I could tell it was old because it was not as scrubby as it was in the beginning. Can we even say that? I don't know. But I'm really excited to have that gone because then I only have one scrub in my collection which is exciting to me. Okay. I will insert some pictures from those items that I don't have that I can't mark you know. I want to talk about my The Body Shop Glazed Apple Body Butter. It was a limited edition for the holiday of 2015. I bought this when I lived in Germany so that is a few years ago now. So I will insert the picture here or here I don't know there I believe uh, for where I was in the beginning and this is where I am now. So as you can see I have a huge stand and I have a lot of pan. <laughs> I hit the bottom pretty hard and almost hit the side of the container. I love this body butter. Um, I don't know if it is supposed to be like that but I think it is a little bit more stiff than the first one that I used of this. That is my body butter. I'm pretty excited about the progress. I can only use it on my legs because uh, apparently the rest of my body is not as dry as my legs. So it is squeezy and it's like a film on top of my skin when I use it on my arms. So I, I don't like it for other than my legs. So I don't think I will get a body butter that thick in the future. I don't think my body is that dry. Then I have a hand cream that is depotted into this small body butter container from the body shop but it is a hand cream from the body shop. It is the almond nail and hand cream. This is an amazing hand cream. I hope you can see a difference because I kind of hit the, hit the bottom of the container. I have a lot left. I am trying to get in a habit of taking a little scoop of this when I'm done with my skincare and need to go to bed because during the day, I'm, I, I, my hands are just not dry. I'm trying to remember once a day and at night time. And it's kind of working. <laughs> then I have a lip scrub from Dovey 7. It is the Jelly Crush Lip Scrub. And this is in Outrageous Orange. Don't know if you can see the name right there. But yeah, it is the orange one. I really like this lip scrub. I have kind of hit the bottom as well on this. Yeah, you can see it there. So that is kind of exciting. And in these small ones you get 6 grams, which is not a lot, but it is a very nice lip scrub. It's not my favorite, but I like it. It does its job, but I just don't think it is rough enough to be that exfoliating. Does that make sense? I hope so. Then we have the Tony and Guy Casual Sea Salt Texturizing Spray. This large container here, and in the intro, last of the hint. Kind of thing. I was here and now I'm down to here so I assume it will be done next time. I use it when I have these kind of waves after a braid. I think I could have it done if I had more braids but I apparently haven't in the last month. Then we have a mask. It is from Placier by Mantas. It is the clear face mask. I started there and now I'm down to here so hopefully I can have it done by next update. I will try to be better at masking because I'm actually really bad, but I'm better at masking when I have it in a project. Let's just take it like that. Then I have the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. This is a huge, huge bottle. It is 400 milliliters and I didn't mark it at the beginning, but I can see I'm down to here now. So I guesstimate it was not completely full. So I have used up about that amount. I, I don't know, but yeah. I am pretty happy about this because this is amazing. I use it in the shower on the um, top half of my body. 
And then when I get out of the shower, I use the body butter on my legs. Then we have the perfume. It is the Black Onyx Green Eau de Parfum. Um, I am not a huge fan of this. I have not the most amount of progress. Can you even see? That is the top line and that is the line. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you can see that. Yeah. I'm... I'm I'm not very good at going through perfume because I don't re reapply it. And I'm pretty bad at remembering putting on perfume. Then we are on to the makeup part. And the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Rimmel London Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. This one right here. And actually haven't marked it. A lot later and uh, my mom was here we have eaten and it's very very late and I'm tired so I just wanted to end this video before I went to bed because it seemed a little bit pointless for me to go to bed without it this being done so that is what I'm going to do the first makeup item in this project is my Rimmel London Insta Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray this is where I am right now, so I have used a little bit. I don't know where this marking is from, but it is quite decent, I think. And the cars are very loud because it's raining outside. Then we have my Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. This is looking very different. It is looking kind of pink because I repressed what was left in the pan because it came loose from the sides. And then I pressed in a, a Franken shadow from a Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette that is strawberry bonbon and white chocolate. I pressed it into the powder so there's uh, quite a bit here. I use it uh, to set my face and to set my concealer and sometimes my primer depending on what look I'm going to. Pretty happy about how it is looking like. Then I have a bronzer and a highlighter from my MDK Gwen Stefani uh, collab face palette. And this is what it's looking like. There's no pan and I'm working on this bronzer and this highlight right here. Hopefully you can see there is kind of a dip forming in the bronzer. Um, I'm sure I'm not close to pan anytime soon, but I am really, really enjoying this bronzer. Crossing my fingers that I can have some pan for you guys next time. The highlighter is creating a dip as well. I hope you can see it there. I'm really, really liking that highlighter. I What is the rest of it is on my face now. I don't know how much, but I'm pretty stoked about those two products using them. Uh, I do wish the highlighter was a little bit more BAM, you know? W7 Got It Covered Concealer Palette. This one right here, it has four concealers and then two correctors. I'm working on the yellow corrector and I will insert the picture from last time. And there you can see I have a little bit around the rim. Now I have a little bit tiny corner. Yeah, right there. That's nothing much left so a couple of makeup uses and that will be gone which is quite sad for this update but i'm pretty happy about it because it doesn't correct as much as i wanted it to i'm very very soon to be done with that product and that makes me excited then we have my primer i'm working on it is the w7 prime magic anti-doll skin balancing primer camera ready this one right here it's okay it's an okay primer not the best Hopefully you can see where I was. So I was there last time in the intro and now I'm there at that line right there. Hopefully you can see it. It's very hard on black on black. But I am making a decent amount of progress and I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with it. Again, not my favorite primer but what can you do? Mascara. It's doing its job. It is getting more dry and clumpy but it's not... Uh, at that point where I find it very difficult to use and you can definitely see that I am using it because it's getting more and more dirty for every time I open this so I have an eyeliner a liquid one it is a W7 line to five 
waterproof eyeliner pen. It is looking like this. And yeah, you can't see any progress on it, obviously. But I have reached a point with this eyeliner where I find it too dry to do a wing. So I just make a very fine line along my lash line. And that is working great. So I don't think there is a lot left in this eyeliner. And I do store it upside down. So that is not the issue. I just think it is close to being empty and I will definitely repurchase that eyeliner because it's a, it's amazing. It's, it really is. Then I have three items left and they are all going to be shown on my piece of paper here. I have progress on them all. I just wish it was more. <laughs> So the first one is my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, cult classic here on YouTube for sure. I have been so much enjoying this on my eyelid as a base for the very bright shadows or just a very neutral shadow on my lid. I love it. It is so so great. I don't set my eye primer anymore because that was an issue. Uh, so my crease color is so pigmented and beautiful and so I apply that and then this all over my eyelid, even in the outer corner. And then I go in, for example, with a purple like I did today. And then a lid shade or something. And it works so, so great. And it blends seamlessly. You can't see there's a base underneath my eyeshadow. Which is what I want. And this just makes them pop because it's, it's white. So I really, really enjoy panning this. Even though it's moves slowly that is the progress right there not a ton but i see myself wearing more makeup this month so hopefully i will have more progress next month then i have my two eyeliners pencil eyeliners one is from gosh and one is from p2 so the gosh one is black and the p2 is like a burgundy plummy shade it seems very very dark and kind of blackish on the eyelid i usually run this burgundy on my lower lash line and this on my top but i have been trying to focus on the liquid liner though yeah, maybe you could skimmed it before but that is the progress right there not a lot i know but what can you do it's okay i am sure when this is done i can have more progress on the black one because then i will just focus on that and then maybe I can focus on this. I do have a purple eyeliner in another project. Liquid liner. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But I will try to finish these off. Because I just don't like this kind of format for a pencil. I like the twist up version. Because I just find them much more smooth and buttery on the eyes. And these just dry up on me before I can use them. So I really want to have these done this year. Because... I'm over them. I am so over them, but not so I can't use them, you know. That's it, thank you for this video. I have been here for way too long and I know I filmed <laughs> quite a bit beforehand. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe down below for my next update or any other project that I'm doing on my channel. I do quite a few uh, collabs and just by myself. So I hope you guys are going to stick along. It will mean the world to me and then until my next video, I hope you guys are going to take care. Bye.